the next um, device that we want to show you that we use here at Proline, uh, this is our Dermapin. And what this allows me to do is be able to penetrate our serums deeper into the skin. And with that, we get a faster um, turnaround time on building your collagen. So it's collagen induction therapy is one of the things that we're doing. And when we do collagen induction therapy, that's what's going to minimize our fine lines and wrinkles, tighten our skin. But uh, one of the great things that we can do with this pen as well, too, is if we, um, any one of our clients have um, acne scarring, it will build the collagen back into that was acne scarring and smooth that skin out. If you have keloid scarring, um, at the same time we can break those keloid scars down um, that's a result from acne or even maybe a c-section or breast augmentation. Uh, great results uh, with the Dermapin with doing those procedures. Um, and again with the stretch marks as well too because you're building collagen back into the areas that it has been stripped away from. So what we do with the Dermapen, this is the device right here. It does use uh, microscopic needles. We put it into the end of it. This is disposable, so each client has their own uh, disposable needle that we use. And Let's get a look close up what we're going to be doing with this is, this is where the glasses come in here. We're going to show you. We have different depths on this so that we can penetrate into different depths, depths of the skin. And I don't know, Jeff, can you see that on the end, uh, the needles? I can yeah. take it out and show you, but 11 microscopic needles. So depending on what setting I have this on will depend on how deep the needles will come out. Okay. Uh, this down here is our speed. So when you hear this, this is how fast the needles will be going in and out. So this is basically like a procedure if you're, you saw your husband out walking in his yard in the yard with his golf shoes on. He's trying to aerate uh, the lawn so that the fertilizer will penetrate faster into uh, the lawn to give you a greener lawn. So just kind of an example of that. Um, but what we're, so we're trying to do here is add Celeste um, a little bit more hydration. Uh, she's doing well, but if we do this, I'm going to turn you just a little bit like this. And one of the great products that we use here um, of our SkinCeutical line that we carry is the Hyaluronic B5. And Hyaluronic carries about a thousand times the weight of water as far as hydration. So it's a really, really um, great product to use. Our body actually produces hyaluronic acid uh, to keep our joints um, moist and flexible. And so uh, in the skin care line, we've discovered that it's great to use as a topical for feeding into our collagen, um, or to our fibroblasts that produce our collagen. So we're just going to simply use this. And the B5 that's a part of this as well too is for tissue repair. Uh, so when we're rebuilding our tissue, um, B5 is a great for that. So we're just going to put a couple drops on Celeste's face here. Just to kind of give us a little bit of a slide. Okay, we're going to just kind of spread that around a little bit. Get some topical hydration going here. Okay. And at this point, put my glasses on. Make sure that we are at the setting that we want to be for Celeste's cheeks. Okay, Celeste, so we're going to get started here. You're going to really, again, pull your skin kind of taut like we were doing with the microdermabrasion. And again, what we're wanting to see is the pinking. Pinking up of the skin. So again, we're just going to do three little passes here. We're going to go this area. We're going to go up and down. And we're going to come back and do some little circles. So the serum that I place on Celeste's skin is now just being penetrated down a little bit deeper by doing this. Celeste, how are you feeling? Fine. It's just like a light scratching. Very, very easy. Very gentle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one of the great things about this as well, too, when <laughs> as well is when we come back, we can also add an additional um, hyperpigmentation serum to let it soak in on some of a couple Celeste's um, sunspots that I see that she's got going on here to help to minimize those. So again, just like the microdermabrasion, we're just going over the face. Getting that pinking sensation. The results that we're going to get from using the Dermapin on someone's is the same as if you're doing anywhere from an IPL to a 
um, all the way up to a fractional uh, type procedure. Like a photofacial? Like a photofacial. A fractional goes a little bit, it goes deeper. Uh, but as you know, when you're doing those type of procedures, you're doing them with lasers and with light. And it's a little more unpredictable uh, because those use water um, in the skin to help to kind of do the to get the results that you're after so you don't get even results with those procedures and also you have a lot of downtime when Celeste leaves here after doing this procedure she's going to feel like she has a mild sunburn we're going to give her some sunscreen to put on and just ask her not to do anything that's going to bring additional blood flow to the skin the rest of the day and with this you can probably get a lot closer around the eyes and different things correct? exactly um, if you can see me Jeff I'm going to go right across this lip line here this is one of the areas that us as women try to fight all the time and keep smooth. Um, so I'm going to be able to find, to smooth out Celeste's fine lines and wrinkles across her lip line there. Let's get very close to Celeste's eyes. So with a laser, we're not allowed to do that. But with a Dermapin, because these are just needles and we're putting serum in here, we're able to get right up underneath Celeste's eye. I fear. Pull a little spot. Celeste, you doing okay? Mm-hmm. I feel it less under my eye than I did on my chin. Mm-hmm. See how close we're able to get to Celeste's eye there. And I actually can even come up above underneath the brow line here. Tighten the skin up underneath here as well. This whole area just really, really good. It is great for minimizing the pores on the nose, so we can actually go across the bridge of the nose to help minimize those pores on your nose that you have. Love, love, love this procedure. working I can see some of the areas that maybe I could need to go back over just a little bit because I want to make sure that I get that complete um, pinkness that I'm looking for with Celeste. You can actually go up here into the forehead area. Celeste will have a little bit, of, again, a little bit of redness, a little bit of erythema when she finished, when we finish the procedure with her. She'll feel, definitely feel some tightness, but she'll feel very, very hydrated. After a couple days, you might see a little bit of what I call kind of eraser type dusting on um, your skin, top of your skin. That's the, a little bit of the trauma to the very top layer of your skin. It's not a problem when we can, when you come back in to do another microderm, that will take that completely off. Again, this can be used um, with all kinds of types of serums. She's basically finished with her Dermapen treatment, and as you can see, she has a little bit of redness. Go ahead and turn this way just a little bit. A little bit of redness in these areas, um, but this, again, feels like a sunburn, and it will go away within basically about another 30 minutes to an hour or something like that. Um, but this is what you look like after a treatment. And tomorrow when she wakes up, all of the redness will be completely gone totally back to normal.